Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect, only from Case IH. Inoculant application for soybeans is a job you can do on your farm. We'll explain the best equipment set up for inoculant in today's Iron Talk. Soybean inoculant is a common term for rhizobia bacteria. They colonize around soybean roots and bring nitrogen from the air into the plant. The trick is to apply them to the seed and get them into the soil before they perish. We've had questions so far this winter about in furrow application of liquid inoculants versus seed applied, and also about dry inoculants. Here's what we found. Inoculants must be in close proximity to the main taproot of the plant to be the most effective. For this reason, seed applied treatments are the most effective. With in furrow liquid applications, you'll likely need five times as much product to equal the results of seed treatments. We've also seen much better results when applying inoculant within hours of planting. Planting seed days or weeks later after treating the seed results in bacterial mortality of up to 90%. But bridging or clumping of seed with liquid seed treatments done right before planting is always a concern. The best practice is to spray liquid inoculant on at multiple points in a brush auger. The same would hold true for a belt layer or a cup system. The keys are to use multiple nozzles to get improved coverage of the seed and then have some sort of mixing as well to coat the seed in all sides. Doing it a few hours in advance of use and running the seed through a brush auger or belt layer after treating will greatly reduce if not eliminate clumping, leading to maximum performance from the inoculant and the seed. When it comes to dry inoculant, there are dry treaters on the market. CT Applicators has the best technology that we've seen on the market with a stainless steel hopper to avoid the static and a sifter to even out the application. Adding inoculant to soybean seed generally provides a nice return on investment. Doing it yourself is pretty simple, whether you use a liquid or dry inoculant. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show. <laughs> 